For his wonderful contributions to the fields of material science, Mayo Kaku has actually insisted that the James Webb Space Telescope has seen six immense structures that specialists thought were unable to exist. These assessments have the plausibility to open up new viewpoints on the way we could decipher the universe. The exposure is both captivating and moderately testing existing theories about the new development and movement of universes. It is, subsequently, important to watch out for these updates. The certification by such a recognized master highlights the significance of these findings. Mayo Kaku is a surprising figure in the scientific field. A physicist of American and Japanese heritage, he is viewed as a specialist in both traditional experimental material science and quantum mechanics. In contrast to some more moderate and sketchy specialists, Kaku has been open to the astounding deferred aftereffects of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. His energy to embrace new discoveries and share them with the public shows his commitment to advancing our understanding of how we could decipher the universe. We are pleased that this recognized analyst has decided to break his silence and directly share what can no longer be denied. The excitement, almost palpable in tone, of the popular physicist is clear in his comments on the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope, showing that this has been a development that has reignited his interest. Join us as we explore the repercussions of Kaku's disclosure of these six colossal structures. Kaku is a researcher who has always been able to consider new hypotheses. Throughout his life, he has shown a responsiveness to ideas that challenge conventional thinking, understanding that Einstein's theories of relativity and Newton's laws, while important, are incomplete in fully explaining the universe's intricate design. Kaku believes that the revelations of the new telescope could advance the field of cosmology. However, many of his colleagues still cannot embrace this view. This has caused concern and anxiety among Big Bang supporters and critics of quantum mechanics. Yet, this only draws laughter from Kaku. The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered six massive universes dating back to the earliest times of the universe. Each of these vast systems contains more stars than our own Milky Way, despite having formed just 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The team of astronomers who made the discovery has named these brilliant cosmic systems universe breakers, as, if confirmed, they would radically change our understanding of the universe. The results of these discoveries are immense, suggesting that the universe's early years were far more dynamic and complex than previously thought. The theory of how things began tells us that the universe was tumultuous after the initial event. The first solid objects took millions of years to form, and it took many more years for these objects to reach sufficient density and produce light. The development of complex structures, like universes, was believed to have occurred much later. Some of the newly found vast systems dwarf the Milky Way in size, and their immense brilliance suggests they were likely forming many new stars each year, whereas our universe forms stars only sporadically. It remains unclear exactly when the first structures formed, and scientists have not yet settled this. The one clear thing is that, at the beginning, there may have been only individual stars or groups of stars that eventually merged to form larger systems. Over time, dwarf galaxies supported larger, more massive systems. Previously, it was believed that such enormous and complex systems were incapable of existing at that time, which raises the question of whether the universe is much older than previously perceived or if such vast systems formed much earlier than anticipated. This situation is difficult to reconcile with conservative science, which still finds issues with this model. Some parts of material science have explicitly rejected these findings and questioned the accuracy of age estimates. Kaku is aware of this and had this to say, There are different models and outdated theories that stubbornly persist due to the influence of certain specialists. Many of these theories were likely debunked when basic analysis revealed their flaws. He continued, Thus, the truth in any science, especially in physics, rests with the analysis, experimentalists who keep the theories sharp and on track. Honestly, on Earth, we have very little data about the true origins of the universe. This explanation from Kaku highlights the importance of constant testing, revising, and confirmation in the scientific process. The theory of how things came to be was laid out in 1927 based on observations of the universe's expansion. This data led to the conclusion that the universe began from a singular, infinitely dense point and has been expanding ever since. At the time, it was difficult for people and scientists to imagine a universe with both a beginning and an end. 
The idea of an eternal universe was beyond human comprehension. Even today, researchers still struggle to fully grasp it. However, it is crucial to consider these possibilities, even if the new discoveries do not align with what investigators have. Accepted for a long time regarding the theory of how things began, science has demonstrated time and again that reevaluation and openness to new ideas are fundamental to the scientific process, much like the confirmation of certain theories and observations. When Einstein was young, it was once believed that stars and planets were steadfastly fixed in the universe and that these particular formations occupied a defined space. Yet we now know that everything in the universe is moving, planets orbit stars, stars move within their galaxies at speeds of a few kilometers per second, and entire galaxies move rapidly through the universe, whose ultimate fate we still cannot predict. This remarkable understanding of the universe challenges long-held beliefs and underscores the necessity for continuous inquiry and change in our scientific thinking. Today, scientists are challenged to recognize anomalies and to understand that theories are not complete insights until they have been rigorously tested or confirmed by empirical observation. The concept of the Big Bang arose from the observation that galaxies are moving away from one another, and this distance is proportional to their separation from Earth. This insight, known as Hubble's Law, suggested that the universe was expanding over time. Factors like cosmic background radiation and the redshift of light from distant galaxies, along with other cosmological patterns, seem to support this theory. However, it is important to remember that in the past, people who believed the Earth was flat and that the Sun revolved around us also had observational evidence for their beliefs, until new events or technological advancements came along that provided a clearer picture. Right now, we are seeing a similar situation. Scientists expected the new James Webb Space Telescope to confirm questions related to the Big Bang Theory. However, they may have encountered these six enormous systems that seemed impossible. This shows that science is continually progressing, and scientists must remain open to new discoveries and reassess existing theories in light of the available evidence. The astounding discoveries have challenged current understanding and prompted a reassessment of deeply rooted cosmological theories. Experts use redshift as a tool to calculate various measurements in the study of the universe. Redshift, also known as the Doppler effect, refers to the change in the color of light as light sources and observers move relative to each other. To understand this, imagine stopping and hearing a car approaching you. As the car moves closer, the engine sound gets louder, but when the car passes or moves away, the sound changes. This happens because the sound waves change as the car moves. The same is true for light. When a light source, like a distant star, moves toward us, the light shifts to bluer tones. Conversely, when the light source moves away, the light shifts to redder tones. This phenomenon is called redshift. Physicists have converted redshift values into rates and distances for measurements in the study of the universe. However, it's crucial to note that even a small mistake in these measurements can have significant effects. The previous assessment methods are now under review. The latest discoveries related to our universe require consideration of whether they are truly based on redshift errors or if some scientists are simply rejecting current realities. This is a question that requires careful evaluation and a thorough review of the data and methods used in the research. The ongoing evaluation and reassessment of measurement techniques underscore the growing understanding of continuous inquiry. Thank you for watching the video. As always, we remind you to post your questions in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and share it so it reaches more people. Also, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more content like this. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. This call to action encourages viewers to engage with the content, fostering a community of curious minds eager to explore and understand the latest scientific discussions. The study of our universe, with its vast distances and complex cosmic bodies, continues to captivate and challenge scientists around the world. From early theories about the universe to the latest discoveries made possible by state-of-the-art technology, each discovery reshapes how we may decipher the universe and expands the boundaries of human knowledge. One of the most significant and enduring questions in cosmology revolves around the origin and development of galaxies. Galaxies are like vast cities of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter bound together by gravity. Understanding how galaxies form and evolve is crucial, 
not only for unraveling the mysteries of our universe, but also for testing or confirming existing theories. For example, the Big Bang Theory, proposed nearly a century ago, suggests that the universe began from a single, infinitely dense point and has been expanding ever since. This idea emerged from observations of the universe's expansion and the cosmic microwave background radiation, considered remnants of the early universe's intense power and light. However, recent discoveries, particularly those made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have challenged some key concepts fundamental to the Big Bang Theory. The JWST, with its remarkable sensitivity and resolution, has identified galaxies that appear far more massive and evolved than expected for their age. One such discovery includes six enormous galaxies dating back to when the universe was just 200 to 700 million years old. A mere blink in its 13.8 billion year history. These galaxies, dubbed universe breakers by the research team, challenge conventional wisdom as they are already so massive and brilliant at such an early cosmic age. The discovery of these galaxies raises intriguing questions about the rapid evolution of the early universe and challenges existing models of galaxy formation. According to prevailing theories, galaxies form gradually over billions of years through the merging of smaller systems and the accumulation of gas and stars. The existence of these massive systems so early in cosmic history suggests a much more complex and potentially faster process of galaxy formation than previously thought. Moreover, the discovery underscores the critical role of technological advancements in reshaping our understanding of the universe. The JWST's ability to peer further into space and capture faint light from distant galaxies has allowed astronomers to uncover previously invisible aspects of the universe's early development. These insights provide important clues about the conditions and processes that governed galaxy formation during the universe's infancy. The implications of these discoveries extend beyond cosmology. They challenge researchers to revisit and refine existing cosmological models to better account for the observed diversity and complexity of galaxies over vast timescales. They also highlight the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific knowledge, where new discoveries can prompt future breakthroughs and open new avenues for investigation. As scientists continue to analyze and interpret the data from the JWST and other observatories, the study of galaxy evolution remains an exciting and rapidly evolving field. Each new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of our origins and helps us understand the fundamental processes that have shaped the universe as we know it today.